What's going on everybody? It's Pelfrey and uh, I got some sand. The uh, Red Sea Reefer 250 has been running bare bottom since November. Um, I'm really tired of trying to keep the bottom of the tank clean. On top of that, I'm looking for a natural ocean type of look. So I've done a lot of research and it seems like the best sand, uh, this is my opinion uh, from what I've read, but the best sand is this Tropic Eden sand. And it comes in a variety of sizes. So what I did is I have two bags of the Meso Flakes or Meso Flakes, however you want to pronounce it. They're 15 pounds per bag. And these are 2.7 millimeters. Um, I picked up a bag of the Reef Flakes. And these are, I believe, like three millimeters, something like that. So I may have got a little bit too much sand but I'd rather have too much than not enough. The objective here is to mix one bag of this with one bag of this and see where we get. Um, the, the other reason why I went with this sand, it was simply because from what I've read, the clouding in the water is gonna be very minimal with this sand. And I did get this from the Premium Aquatics website. So it's uh, premiumaquatics.com. They're located in Edinburgh, Indiana, if anybody's interested in going there. So if you're in Louisville or uh, Indianapolis, um, if you know where the outlet malls are on 65, that's where pretty much Premium Aquatics is. And I ordered these on a Friday, all the sand, and I got it in on Monday. So they were very, very fast. I'm gonna attempt to make as little a mess as possible. started off by adding just a cup of sand. I wanted to see how bad it was going to cloud the water. Um, I just filled up a plastic cup with a cup full of sand and dumped it into the tank. Um, I was had no plans on adding all the sand uh, using this method just because you can see the sand does go uh, everywhere. So I did come up with an alternative me uh, method for adding the sand to the tank. And you can see here I got almost about half of the tank uh, full of sand. And the cloudiness, I mean, it does look bad, but for having not rinsed, by having not rinsed the sand at all, um, the cloudiness was actually pretty minimal um, and the cloudiness went away pretty quickly. So what I did was uh, I'd add a couple of cups of sand to the tank and then I would let it um, uh, clear up and then I would start adding more sand as needed. With this being a rimless tank, my objective is to have a shallow sand bed all the way around, uh, especially in the front, with a little bit of deeper sand bed in the back. And about 24 hours later, uh, I got sand for the most part in the tank. So basically what I did was take a one inch piece of PVC, a funnel, and a measuring cup and I just stuck the uh, nozzle of the uh, funnel over the PVC, dumped the sand in, and uh, it's worked out actually pretty great as far as adding the sand to the tank this method, with this method. So the tank looks uh, totally different. Of course, the, the rocks are a couple months old at this point, and the sand is pristine white. Um, I do need to work on 
getting some sand added back there and a couple other places but for the most part um, very happy with it so I ended up buying at the beginning of this video if you remember it was a 30 pound bag a 15 pound bag and a 15 pound bag and one of the 15 pound bags I didn't even open up um, I mixed a 30 pound bag and a 15 pound bag together in a bucket and I barely even put a dent in it um, I am gonna add a little bit more sand in it just to give it a little bit more depth um, just in some key places and that's it so you know I, I did overdo it uh, as far as ordering the sand but I would have rather had a little bit extra than not had enough in this instance so in an effort to give you the best description of how I've had sand I'll go ahead and uh, show you here with just a little bit of sand so once again the funnel is going over top of the one inch PVC and then I'm just dumping sand in there now I did buy this funnel specifically for this purpose it's not had any other materials run through the funnel um, you know, I, I want to want to keep this thing as, as clean as possible, and I definitely don't want to use a funnel that I used on the the push mower to uh, change the oil or whatever. But this method worked really great. So if you're going to add sand to your tank, um, I highly suggest using the PVC and funnel method. Um, I don't think that any other method would have been even at all as effective. Um, so if you're like I said, if you're thinking about adding sand, grab PVC and a funnel. So if you remember at the beginning of this video, uh, this bucket was not all the way full of sand but uh, it was a lot closer to the top so i didn't even use half of this bucket and what's in this bucket is a 30 pound bag of sand and a 15 pound bag of sand and the other 15 pound bag of sand i didn't even open up so you can see that i barely even put a dent in the sand um so just keep that in mind which i am putting sand in a red sea reefer uh, 250 so it's a 36 inch by 18 um by 20 tank so 20 being tall um had great luck with this Tropic Eden sand, would definitely recommend it. Have not had any issues with any of my pumps blowing it around. Um, and that, that sh that's about it. I'm going to try to keep the sand as clean as possible. And uh, definitely glad that I, I chose to add sand to the tank. It made the tank look a lot better, in my opinion. So once again, thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions, leave them below. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.